Proof of work is good for humanity. Everybody talks about blockchains and crypto, but very few know about decentralization. The real invention of, of the blockchain industry is not money or Bitcoin or blockchain. The revolutionary invention is the proof of work, POW based Nakamoto consensus. Nakamoto consensus uses the proof of work as a focal point for all the machines connected to the network to be on the same page every 10 minutes in the case of Bitcoin BTC and every 13 seconds in the case of Ethereum Classic ETC. The fact that this foc focal point exists is the key to decentralization because every node in the system can join, exit and join again whenever they wish without the need of checking with anyone or anything else other than the information of the proof of work itself. This is an in this has enormous benefits for humanity. What does proof of work do? But before explaining the benefits of proof of work, it is worth learning how it works. A proof of work blockchain such as ETC is constantly receiving new transactions. When any machine in the network receives a new transaction, they immediately retransmit it to the rest of the network for full replication. This means that all computers in the system have a copy of each transaction. A subgroup of the machines in the network called miners get batches of these transactions and seal them with a cryptographic stamp called a hash. This hash is what cons consumes so much work and power. Uh, this hash is what consumes so much work and power to create, hence proof of work. When any of the miners create the cryptographic hash first, it sends the new block of transactions, which includes the stamp, to the rest of the network for full replication. When the rest of the network verifies the transactions and the hash of the block, they add it as the last bl uh, block in the chain and pay the miner a set, a set number of coins for their work. What are the advantages of proof of work? The method described above has several advantages that keep the network decentralized. Decentralization is important because it reduces the influence of trusted third parties who can tamper with a blockchain. The first advantage is that so much work was put into creating the block that when the rest of the nodes in the, in the network receive it, they know it is the correct one just by verifying the stamp. If imposters or attackers were sending, were sending them alternative blocks, they would discard them because only blocks with the work done would be accepted. The second advantage is that when new nodes want to join the network, it's very easy to check which is the legitimate, legitimate blockchain just by verifying all the work done in the, chain on the, in the chain of blocks since Genesis. By doing this, any machine can actually join, leave or join again without even consulting with any third party. This is the key to permissionlessness and censorship resistance. The other advantage of proof of work is that to create the coins, a lot of work has to be done. This is similar to how gold works in the real world, thus making the coins scarce. Proof of work is good for the climate. Proof of work mining is now the single most sustainably powered global industry in the world. Over 56% of the energy it uses comes from renewable sources. Because of the same reasons, carbon emissions in proof of work are trending lower. Additionally, as methane gas is 84 times more warming than carbon dioxide, and because proof of work mining is very mobile and may be turned on and off due to market conditions, proof of work miners are using the methane that is stranded from oil wells to power their computers, thus transforming the methane into CO2, which actually makes it carbon negative. Proof of work provides power to poor areas. As said above, because proof of work mining is very mobile and may be turned on and off due to market conditions, it usually seeks cheap sources of energy that may be remote and stranded. This provides financing to these sources and makes them flourish in poor areas. For example, in Africa, there are small hydropower generators popping up in remote regions providing electricity for the first time in these areas because proof-of-work miners use these sources first providing the bulk of the demand thus making, making them economically viable to distribute to other consumers locally. 
Proof of work is property rights on a global scale. Property and ownership are very weak across the world, even in advanced economies. However, the recognition of blockchains such as ETC as property, as property registries would be revolutionary. The ETC coin itself is the first asset that is possessed, held and controlled using the Ethereum Classic Proof of Work blockchain. It is also widely legally recognized as property and this implies recognizing the underlying ledger as a property registry. The ETC account system, the ERC20 and ERC721 standards combined with proof of work will enable property rights globally which will cross all borders seamlessly improving property rights everywhere. Some of the registrable objects that could be managed on proof of work blockchains will include NFTs, fungible tokens, real estate, vehicles, corporations, non-profits, securities and trusts among many others. Proof of work is digital gold. As said before, because the coins in proof of work blockchains are only created after miners have spent a lot of capital and electricity building the blocks, these cryptocurrencies are considered digital gold. The term digital gold denotes the hardness of the money. This means that the currency is scarce and does not lose value as time passes by, but to the contrary, it maintains or gains value. This is counterintuitive in today's world of fiat currencies, which are all inflationary. But the economic consequences and the rebalancing of wealth in the world would be significantly impacted if proof-of-work cryptocurrencies were adopted as global reserves, which will likely happen. Proof-of-work is unprecedented security in computer science. The reason why uh, cryptocurrencies as Bitcoin didn't exist before was because network designs to that point in computer science had a fault tolerance of one third of the participating nodes. This means that if 33% of the machines in the network were to attack the system, they could do it. As said at the beginning of this post, the brilliant invention of proof of work raised the fault tolerance threshold to 50% of nodes. Not only that, but because of its strong cryptography and energy wall protection, wall of protection, the only thing that these attacks may do is to double spend coins, which is a narrow kind of attack and may be avoided by waiting more confirmations in these blockchains. Proof of work is good for humanity. So proof of work is clean. It provides a focal point for all nodes in the network to join and leave whenever they wish without checking with third parties. It provides hard money and it enables consensus among all machines to be exactly in the same state of the system globally every round. These features combined produce trust minimization, permissionlessness and censorship resistance on blockchains making them the most secure computer networks known to man. The great benefits to the world of these things are that they are good for the climate, they provide electricity to the poor in remote regions of the world, good for property and other rights on a global scale, they provide hard money for people worldwide to save and bring unprecedented security to computer systems in general. Proof of work is indeed good for humanity. Thank you for watching this Ethereum Classic video. To learn more about ETC, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.